The Eastern 200 would mark the next round of the Natal Off-Road Racing Club Championship, brought to you by Cooper Tyres, Blue Rock Quarries and Maisie Plastics. A totally different scene. One month ago, everyone was freezing cold and soaking wet out at Dundee, racing with the Nationals. This time, Cooper Tyres were on board and it was bone dry. Johan Vuljun would be teaming up with 2017 KZN champion Andre Voigt and the two would be hoping for a nice clean day. Well here we are at the Cooper Eastern Rally, my first race ever. Um, my expectations for the day is to, to have fun. The weather has played along lovely and um, we'll see how it goes. Nice to be associated with this event and um, looking forward to an excellent day. As it turned out, they found a hole big enough to swallow their entire car, but that's a totally different story altogether. For the rest, it was flat out sugarcane racing, standard option down in KZN. Lance Trithui had taken his car all the way to the top of the pile, just about beating the best of the best at the national championships just one month previous, and he was trying to back up that result here at the Eastern 200. He'd have his work cut out though, as all of the teams had come extremely well prepared. In fact, some teams choosing to miss out the Dundee event, which was known to be a bit of a car eater, and save all of their tyres and all of their spares to come and drop the hammer at the Eastern 200. In the L700, Gail Mitchell showed true camaraderie by towing Ricky De Silva all the way home, Gail eventually finishing third in class. Eric Brewery and Lisa Snayman retired with alternator problems on the day. Andre Voigt, with Cooper tyre sponsor Johan Villeneuve, eventually ended up nose first in the ditch, but managed to claw their way out and still finish inside the top 10 in class. Brendan Lees can deaf navigator Brett Holtz returned to Easton in a different vehicle from a devastating fire in March after they claimed their car. They lost more brakes, one kilometre on the prologue, but managed to finish the prologue using just the gearbox. After repairs, they stopped at the main race to have alternator failure, four kilometres into the loop of the main race. Some guys just have no luck. In the quads, one of the stories, C55 quad Dolphy Brits rolled his quad when he still managed to get himself up to second place in the class come the end of the day. When the 200 k's of racing were done and dusted and the checkered flag came out, the category wins looked like this. In class A's, Clint Gibson with Boyd Dreyer once again dominating ahead of Jonathan Edwards, Nick Edwards and Gary Campbell with Kerry Ann Campbell making it inside of the top three. For the class B results, Graham Patterson topped the charts with Lloyd Regian alongside him. Second place went to Robert Spencer and Belinda Sandwith with Marcus Taylor and Darren Gray, a new pairing on the squad getting themselves up into third place straight away. For the Class C's, Tim Howes walked away with a big win in the single-seater of Brendan Liesk and Brett Holtz, two spots for them. And in Class CL for the quads, Sean Jonker walked away with a big win ahead of Dolphy Brits and Gail Mitchell with the three spots. The Eastern 200 definitely showed that we were gonna have a huge entry and good momentum going forward into the rest of the season. Trithui, after his great result at the National, dropped a little bit further down the charts than he would have liked, and he'll be licking his wounds trying to figure things out going into round four of the series. The quads also saw improved entries, and with the chance of some of the Gauteng riders coming down for the next round, should see them with their biggest entry yet. A big thanks to Cooper Tyres, Blue Rock Quarries, and Maisie Plastics for coming on board as naming right sponsors for this round three action. Eastern, a classic off-road racing venue, and we'll definitely be back here. We caught up with some reactions in the pits when everyone was done and wrapped up for the day. Track was, track was good, varied, very really technical, challenging. Boy, as usual, obviously on the button. Absolutely amazing, thanks very much. Saved me, uh, <laughs> saved me a couple of times. But uh, yeah, we had our troubles in the morning, but we came back strong in the afternoon, and uh, that's what all it counts, eh? Points in the bag, and we go from there. So the Eastern 200 definitely getting things back on track for the KZN Regional Championships. Join us for the next round as we continue our racing action.